Hi, in a previous session we analysed some survey data. With the exception of one final question, which was all about suggestions and comments, it was a free text question. We're going to correct that now. We're going to take that text, we're going to put it into a word frequency analysis, and then we're going to visualise it, as you see here, as a kind of bar chart and a word cloud. Let's get started. As a reminder, here's the data that we're going to analyse. This is the survey data, 81 responses, and we're looking at this comments column here. It was optional, so only 29 people have filled it in. We're also going to use a glossary of what's called stop words. These are kind of standard words in the English language, very common words that don't uh, give us any useful kind of information. So we're going to use this to remove those of these stop words. We're in Power BI's Query Editor and here is the survey data exactly as in the spreadsheet and here is the data of stop words, we've simply imported those in. We've already created this words table and I'm going to take you through it step by step by clicking on the applied steps. One of the good things is that as we click on each of the applied steps it will show us in the main pane the data with the state as of that step. So we can simply go through it step by step so to speak. First of all, we've started off by just uh, going and referencing survey comments. So we've got a copy of the comments uh, field in the survey table as, as a separate table. Um, let's just simply rename it and call it text. And the next thing that we're going to do, we come along here and we simply remove empty. And that removes the blank rows because as I say that was an optional field. Once we've got that, we want to compare um, and count words even if they're in different cases. So we're going to come along to transform and we're going to go to lowercase. And that's done that, you can see the, the text is now all lowercase. We want to get rid of the punctuation and there's 12 or so different sorts of punctuation marks. So that the way that we can do it is we can come in here and we can say replace values. And what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to say that I want to replace a particular punctuation mark. In this case, I'll use uh, the double quotes with nothing. I've already done that, so I'll just do cancel. And what we've got here is we've see we've kind of replaced it with different sorts of punctuation marks. Now, a bit laborious to do all 12 or so, but we'll come back to that and there is a way around that later on. Now we've got to get rid of those stop words. For example, we can see and, to, me, we want to get rid of all of those. So what we're going to do is, first of all, let's just remove any, any blank lines that were in there, any blank words, rename that to word because it's no longer text, it's a word, and just in case there's any spaces at the start and the in end, we're just coming along and we are trimming it. Good. This is the important step. What we're doing is we're doing, we're merging, and we're merging on uh, the two tables we're merging our words table with our stop words table obviously both on the word column and instead of usually choose as usual choosing a left outer join which would just bring back the rows with common values in those columns we're choosing a, a left ante and left ante brings back those rows which were in the first table but not in the second table so if i press ok then uh, what we've got is you can see here that those uh, to be me and those words, those stop words have disappeared. We can get rid of that second column and uh, we can just check a few other things but basically we end up then with uh, our, our clean text with all those words lowercase without punctuation and we're ready to create the visual. We're back in the report pane and on the field list we can see the new words table I've created a measure here which simply sums the simply counts the rows in the words table it's called the number of words in the comments and what I can do is create a bar chart put the number of words in comments on the bar there are 230 words in all those comments and simply put word on our axis and that will give us when it does it it will give us the bar chart that we need we might want to limit that just to the most 10 most popular words. We can come to our filter pane. We can filter on word and we can choose that we want the top end filtering. We want a top 10 words and that is going to be filtered on by value of the number of words in comments. Again, apply that filter 
and we actually get uh, a few more than 10 words uh, simply because it's got ties there's lots of words with uh, that had both uh, had two occurrences next let's create our word cloud the word cloud is actually a custom visual so if you haven't got it you need to click on get more visuals and then you need to search for word cloud there it is and you can add it I've already added it so we don't need that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it here I'm going to bring it in make it a bit bigger and I'm going to do a very similar thing to the bar chart I'm going to add the word in the category the number of words on column on the values and it's there we can clean this up in various ways but that's what we need we didn't really have enough words in those comments to make a meaningful word cloud so we're going to a source that has a lot more words I'm in a wonderful site called Project Gutenberg and I'm searching for a book called uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde um, it provides this book uh, free in various formats including a uh, plain text CSV, CSV UTF file. I've downloaded that file and opened it up in Notepad++ an editor. We can see that it's got the story of the Victorian novel by Robert Louis Stevenson, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It's got a few lines of introduction at the beginning. It's got uh, license conditions at the end, which we'll remove, but it's got the words that we need. Let's bring that now into Power BI and apply exactly the same operations on it as we did for the comments. Back in Power BI, in the query editor, I've applied exactly the same steps as we did for the comments, but this time to uh, the text of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. We can see all the steps on the right hand side. I've simply added a couple of steps which removes the top 31 rows, the introduction and the uh, the bottom rows, uh, the license. So it just has the text of the novel, but otherwise it's exactly the same as before. And I've removed those columns. We can go one step better than that because we've created a lot of uh, steps here and one way to get around that is to use our script as a step. One of the things that we can do if we click on transform is that there is a step called an R step. And what that does is we click on it, it will pass in data from the previous step as an R data frame called data set. We've done that there to replace all the punctuation columns. So if I have a look at this R step to do that, what we've got is a tiny piece of R code and it basically uh, does exactly the same. It creates a table called output. It starts off with data set and then it mutates, creates a new column uh, called clean text and that clean text just has, uh, removes all the uh, characters which are not a, a, a letter, a number or a couple of other things, it replaces them with the empty string. And so when we have a look at that, what we've got is we've got output, we've got our original column there with the punctuation we've got our clean text column without the punctuation all in one step we can remove that original column so we've got our clean text and then it's exactly as before and what happens when we get is we can create a word cloud of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde let's go and have a look at that you can see that Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde is, is a bit of a horror story in the description there is a link to all the resources that you'll need if you want to reproduce what you've seen on the video, the Power BI example file and the source data set. We'll be coming back to text analysis in R in a later session. We'll be using the wonderful tidy text package to do that to do much more sophisticated text analysis. And I hope you'll join us for that. Speak to you then. Bye.